In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Impulse with Ableton Live, and then I'm going to show you how you can set up your own mappings to control plugins and other parameters inside Live without using AutoMap. Connect the Impulse to your computer using the provided USB cable and open Ableton Live. Open the Preferences by going to Option Preferences on a PC or Live Preferences on a Mac and go to the Link MIDI tab. Configure the settings that you see shown on screen. You'll now be able to take control of a range of functions depending on which impulse you have. When the mixer mode is selected, the fader will be in mixer mode and you'll now be able to take control of the currently selected track's volume using the fader on the Impulse 25 and you can control eight track volumes as well as the master fader with the Impulse 49 and 61. You can move left and right through tracks by holding shift and using the octave up and down buttons just here. The transport buttons control the equivalent door functions inside Live. Moving on to the encoders, when the plugin button is lit, you'll be able to take control of the selected device controls, which is indicated by this blue hand. When both the plugin and MIDI buttons are lit, which you can do by pressing both buttons at the same time, you'll be able to take control of track pans and sends. You can scroll through the track pans and sends by holding down the shift button and pressing page up and down. All of the features that were present on the Impulse 25 are also present on the 49 and 61 key models with the addition of eight track volume faders, as well as solo and mute buttons below eight of the faders. The mute solo button can be used to toggle between mute and solo control. you're able to map the encoders and faders to control plugins and other parameters inside Live. The encoders and faders can either be in mixer or plugin mode, where they have the functions that we just explained, or they can be in MIDI mode, where they're freely assignable. To put the encoders into MIDI mode, press this MIDI button. To put the Impulse 25 fader into MIDI mode, press this button so that it's unlit. To put the Impulse 49 and 61 faders into MIDI mode, press this MIDI button. Before we custom map anything, please return to Live's Preferences by going to Option Preferences on a PC or Live Preferences on a Mac. Go to the Link MIDI tab and make sure that Track and Remote are turned on for all of the Impulse's inputs and outputs. To map these encoders or faders to parameters inside Live, click on MIDI in the top right to turn on MIDI mapping. Click on the parameter that you want to control, like track volume. Move the control on the impulse that you want to control that parameter with, for example, the encoders. And then press MIDI again inside Live. Now the encoders may switch back to plugin mode once you've done this. So make sure that you select MIDI again on the impulse. And you can now control these parameters using the controls that you moved on the impulse. In the link MIDI tab, you can experiment with this drop down menu to control the behavior of the pickup of the encoders. If you have any questions, you can contact our support team using the link in the description below.